Today we will do Oedipus Rex by Sophocles. This is the fourth class of my online class, but this is the third class for the students of honors second year. And today we will discuss on the tragic irony in Oedipus. Irony, the frequent example of the various devices of irony implies an attitude of detachment and a tendency to perceive life in terms of the incongruities that occur between appearances and reality. It involves a whole outlook of, on life. Verbal irony means an expression containing double meaning, the one that the speaker intends and the other what the listener makes of it, very frequently used in drama. Irony of situation. Dear students, hope you are safe and sound. You are following the health rules and safeguarding yourselves. In the previous class, we found out the tragic flaw or hamartia in King Oedipus' character. In today's class, we'll try to find out dramatic irony or tragic irony in King Oedipus. This is our third class on Oedipus Rex. So now we can start our topic. First of all, we should know about irony. What is an irony? Irony, the frequent employment of various devices of irony implies an attitude of detachment and the tendency to perceive life in terms of the in incongruities that occur every between appearances and reality. It involves a whole outlook on life. Verbal irony means expression containing double meaning, one that the speaker intends and the other what the listener make of it. This type of irony is frequently used in drama. Irony of situation, a situation and in which an individual gets into though he prepared that situation for somebody else, such as the hunter hunted or something of that kind. So now, if we make a sum up, what can we say? Irony is an action or a situation or a statement which means the opposite of its surface meaning. An oft quoted example of irony is Brutus is an honorable man from William Shakespeare's Julius Caesar. Here Antony says this in his oration over the dead body of Caesar. Whereas all know that Brutus is the assassinator of Caesar. Here, everybody knows that Brutus is an ignoble man. So now, come to our point. In Oedipus Rex, there are so many elements of dramatic irony. As first of all, the central theme or dramatic irony serve as the central point in Oedipus Rex. Though Oedipus was deserted to avoid fate, but actually he serves the purpose of fate. Whenever he came to know about the Oracle of Delphi, he wanted the fatal truth not to be implemented and he fled away from the house, from the city, only to be cast in the meshes of fate again. Oedipus repeatedly wanted to punish the killer of his father, Laius, but he didn't know he himself was the killer. This is an irony. Again, Oedipus wanted to banish the killer of King Laius, whereas he himself would be banished 
from his country. And again, uh, Oedipus told so many inglorious words, he, his bitter words and his order of punishing the wrongdoings fall upon his head. Again, Oedipus told Tiresias, brainless, shameless, senseless, and sightless suit. But later, we find that Oedipus, Oedipus he himself was disglorified by those inglorious qualities and heinous adjectives. And later, we see that dra dra dramatic irony again works when uh, Oedipus wants to know the fact, but he actually he doesn't know, but the audience know it. This discrepancy between the characters involved in the drama and the audience serves as a dramatic irony. Again, the, there is irony in Jocasta, Jocasta's words and the knowing of the audience. Actually, the knowledge between Jocasta and the audience creates a dramatic irony because the spectators knows the real position of Jocasta but Jocasta herself didn't know the reality. So there are so many elements of dramatic irony in King Oedipus. So our lesson or our topic is about to get finished. I hope that in the next class we'll finish doing King Oedipus or Oedipus Rex. So now I am keeping some questions for you to make your answers. The first is what is an irony and the second comment on the dramatic irony in Oedipus. So get preparation for that girls. Inshallah, we'll 